On November 29, 1890, two branches of the United States Armed Forces went head-to-head -head in a football game at West Point. In doing so, they established a time-honored tradition, one that has endured through the ages, even amidst wars and pandemics, to this very day. 132 years after that very first battle at West Point, the two sides meet once again in the city where this nation was founded, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hello and welcome to the broadcast booth here at the home of Philadelphia Eagles Lincoln Financial Field. Today the regular season comes to its end. There are no playoff implications in this game, national conference or otherwise. Only bragging rights and the Secretary's Trophy are on the line in the annual renewal of college football's greatest rivalry. Navy lead the series all-time with 62 wins, 53 losses, and 7 draws. They look to defend their title today after a 17-13 win last year. The experts say they will be able to do so, but for Army, the prospect of defeating your infamous rival may spur them out of the win. To paraphrase Jim Cornette, hate is a heck of a motivator. The forecast today calls for snow. There were a few flurries before this broadcast went on the air, but the field remains mostly immaculate as of this moment. Without any, without any further ado, kickoff is moments away, so let's go down to the field for the coin toss in the 132nd edition of the Army-Navy game, college football's greatest tradition. The snow just beginning to fall as we get ready for the coin toss. It's going to be Army selecting... Heads or tails, what will they go with? They go with heads. And they will start this game off by receiving. Here we go, the 2022 Army-Navy game set to get underway. One of the many traditions in college football. Yet another installment here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They're in short sleeves for some reason, even as the snow falls. I don't know why. But nonetheless, here we go. Army receiving, and it's carried out to the 19. And the offensive line about to make their entrance for the first time in this game. Army in white and gold, Navy in blue and gold. Just to avoid any confusion. Bardner gets sacked on the first play. I don't think there was any loss, though. No loss whatsoever. It's second and ten. Here for the Black Knights. The toss to Fields. He'll get four yards from that play. It's third and six. The handoff to Fields once again, and it's fourth down and two. So are they going to go for it, or are they going to punt? It's very early in this game, and it looks like they are going to punt it away. Watson sends it into the air, and a fair catch at the 47. As the offensive line for the Navy midshipmen come up come out onto the field for the first time here today. Couple of adjustments being made. And there's the snap. Hayes steps back to pass and it goes out of bounds. Incomplete. Second and ten to stop the clock. One minute and 45 seconds to go here in the first quarter. But of course we're playing three minute quarters so really it's not that much time. Hayes fires it away, and now Johnson looking to break away past the 20 and the 5, and nobody's going to catch him now. Touchdown, Navy. Just like that, the midshipmen take the lead over the Black Knights. And what a touchdown it is. Just breaking away, going for it. A couple of chances for the defense, but in the end, they're unable to catch up. And we'll have the... Point after touchdown in a matter of moments right now. Right now, to be precise, 53-yard catch there for Johnson. Unbelievable. And it is 7-0 for Navy here in the early going at Lincoln Financial Field. The 2022 Army-Navy game has its first touchdown. And Army to get the ball again. Their first possession resulted 
in a fourth down and a punt. Let's see if they can do better as the offensive line comes out onto the field for the second time here today. But of course, the kick beforehand. Away it goes. Caught at the 10. And now past the 20 and the 25. I believe he stepped out of bounds. Indeed he did. Carried out to the 27. And that is where the Black Knights will start for their second possession. The toss to Fields once again, and he gets nine yards from this play. Good start to this drive for Army. Jacob Fields, 17 yards total today. Three rushes. Wagner looking for a pass, but he's just going to run it himself. And wait a minute, it's fumbled. And as the laws of time, space, and gravity are broken, Navy gets the ball again. Utter dominance so far by the midshipmen. And they're past the 50 already. They're at the 44. We could see another touchdown very, very soon. Hayes hands off to Sanders. Carried three yards to the 41. Second and seven. Coming up now for Navy. Hayes looking for a pass this time. Stepping back, fires it away. And just a little bit far, for, just a little bit too far forward. And it's third and seven now. Whoops. Sorry about that, but good look at the the stand or the stats there. Third and seven. Hayes with the handoff to Sanders, and that's going to be fourth down for the first time here for Navy. They'll punt it away. Sanders with a gain of one yard, but obviously not enough to keep the ball with the midshipman. And this will go all the way into the end zone. Wesley, he's not going to get very far. Let's see exactly what happened here. First and 10 of the 25. So he was still in the end zone. It was kind of questionable, kind of weird. He was still on the line there, but they've ruled, it, they've ruled it that he was still in the end zone. And as the first quarter comes to its end, it's Navy 7, Army 0. The Black Knights with the ball as the second quarter gets underway here in Philadelphia. Second and 9 for Army. Barb there with a the handoff to Fields, and he'll go down at the 32. Whether of his own accord or not, third and three now for Army. Can they convert? We'll find out. Bargner stepping back to pass. Don't want to wait too long, but he will carry it past the line, and he slides down at the 40. It's a first down for the Black Knights. Kalen Bargner with eight rushing yards today. No completed passes at all. So... It has not been a very good day for the Army quarterback, and it just gets even worse as he's taken down after one yard, and the two-minute warning kicks in. Two minutes to go here in the first half between Army and Navy. Bogner hands off to Fields, and Fields is taken down at the 45. Third and five coming up now for the Black Knights, and the first timeout of the game being called by Army. 150 to play here before halftime. Aluezi with the snap to Bogner. Now Fields can't get there in time. Can't uh, get far enough. And it's fourth and three. And they will probably be forced to punt. Indeed they will. As the snow continues to fall in Philadelphia, I don't know why they're in short sleeves, but whatever. Fair catch called at the 15. Not a good starting place for Navy, but nonetheless, we'll see what they can do. Had a good breakaway touchdown earlier. Looking to repeat that as Hayes hands off to Sanders. Gain of five. Carried to the 20. And Army using their last timeout of the half. And possibly the last timeout of the half, period. Navy really with no use for timeouts considering the fact 
But they've got the 7 nothing lead. This is carried to the 23, a gain of 3 yards on that play. Third and two, another chance, or one last chance, really, for the midshipmen to keep the ball. Waiting, and I think they're just running out the running down the clock now. Got to snap it sometime. There it is, Hayes with the handoff to Sanders, and he will get past the line for a first down. And the clock keeps ticking. 30 seconds to go in the first half. And now I think they're just wasting time once again. One last play, perhaps. Snapped with 11 seconds to go, hand off to Sanders. And he'll get six yards to bring the second quarter to an end and to bring the first half to an end. A seven nothing lead for the Navy midshipmen. Three or six minutes gone, six minutes to go. Army with the majority of the possession. However, despite that, Navy still with the lead thanks to an extraordinary touchdown at the beginning, uh, er, in the early going of this game. And at the beginning of the second half, They'll get the ball once again. And here comes the kick. That is a lot of snow, ladies and gentlemen. Carried to the 24. First and 10, once again. Or will be. As the offensive line comes back out onto the field. Hayes with the handoff to Sanders. Sanders. Sanders gets two yards. We've seen a lot of rushing from Navy, a lot of handoffs, not much passing. And they continue to go with that run game as Hayes hands off to Sanders yet again. That'll go, that'll uh, bring him up to the 29, third and five now. Navy looking to convert. Hayes with the handoff to Sanders. Once more, Sanders the breakout star of this game for sure. And he gets the first down for the midshipman. Five yard run. To keep the ball with Navy. Now a toss to Sanders. Really just the right hand man of the quarterback uh, today. I don't know if that's the case usually since this is the only game that Navy has played. This is the only Navy game we've covered or will cover this season, but why not cover this? It is one of the greatest traditions in college football, the Battle of the Armed Forces. And it's third and seven once again. Couple of adjustments being made. Hayes steps back to pass for once, but it is incomplete. Now I guess I understand why they uh why they've done so much running in this game it's fourth and seven for navy and they're gonna kick luckily for them they've got a seven nothing lead but a chance now for army to tie it up or perhaps take the lead as the game marches on the need for a hypothetical two-point conversion increases and the offensive line coming out onto the field for Army for the first time in this half. Bardner kicks things off with an incomplete pass. It's second and ten. Army starting things out on the 16. And a couple of adjustments being made before the snap. Bardner goes down. It's another sack. And it just keeps it just keeps getting worse for Army's quarterback. Third and 11, 30 seconds to go in the corner. One last chance for them to keep the ball before they're forced to surrender it once again. And that's a false start right there. Encroachment. And that is going to be a five-yard penalty. Third and six. Just got a little bit easier for the Black Knights. 
probably two plays to go in this quarter. The handoff to Fields, and he has been injured. Out for out for three plays. It's fourth and three, and I think they're going to be forced to kick it away. He's definitely hurt, signaling for someone to come help him. He's off the field now. Navy will get the ball once again, possibly for the last time today. Fair catch exactly at the 50. Mora with the reception, if you will. And now first and 10 exactly at the 50. Hayes steps back to pass, evades the sack. No, he doesn't. Goes down on the line of scrimmage. Still second and 10. No gain, no loss on that play. And at the end of the third quarter, Navy 7, Army 0. As the snow continues to fall here in Philadelphia. The midshipmen looking to close the book on this one. Another touchdown would do the job. But if Army are able to get the ball again, it's been a horrible game for them so far. But there is still one last chance. There's always one last chance. We say anything can happen here on BSN. Mora goes down. A very violent tackle. Almost as if it were a professional wrestling match. And now Navy finding themselves on fourth down and one. And Army will get the ball now. And what they've got to do is hold the ball throughout the fourth quarter. Obviously they've got to score, but another thing, another key element will be to um, uh, run down the clock, prevent Navy from getting the ball again. Well, it's inevitable that they score, but prevent them from having a lot of time with the ball. Wesley kneels in the end zone. Army starting things out at 25. A toss to Fields. Gets eight yards. Second and two coming up at the 33. The two minute warning kicks in and they've got to go now. Bargner with the handoff to Fields. And that's a first down. Timeout called. As the Black Knights continue their effort to move up the field. Bargner with the toss to Fields. And he goes down at the 42. For a second there I thought he might be injured, but he looks fine. Army calling another timeout. And if I were the offensive line, I'd go for a big passing play. Not necessarily a Hail Mary, but something to get them past the 50. Bargner going to run it himself. That'll get him to the 45 and it's third and two as they call the last timeout of the half now with no timeouts they've either got to take it out of bounds or they've got to go for a really big pass and try to score there it's about to get interesting that's for sure third and two for the Black Knights Bogner steps back to pass and almost gets sacked never say never incomplete and with that I mean, they could still go for it. I would, but we'll see what they do. And they are going to punt it away, which could be their downfall. Giving up. It seems as we've got, what, 117 to play. Army waving the white flag, if you will. Unless there is some miracle, like an interception or a fumble. Okun gets one yard. And now one minute to play. Second and nine at the 22 for Navy. And they're running down the clock once again. They did this before halftime. It's a good strategy. But... I think anyone will agree it's kind of boring. If you're a commentator in this situation, you don't really know what to say. It just becomes a situation of dead air. Third and five. And 20 seconds to go. They're going to keep running down the clock. And that'll run it way down. 
Ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four. There's the snap. And Hayes looking for one more play. A pass to Mora. And that is it. As Navy get the first down, the final whistle blows. And they have won the 2022 Army-Navy game. America's game being taken by the midshipmen. The victory for the Naval Academy. Three first downs for Navy, two for Army. 61 net yards for the Black Knights compared to Navy's 109. Navy with the majority of the possession. Six minutes and 53 seconds to five minutes and seven seconds. We thank you for watching our coverage of the 2022 Army-Navy game. College football will return in two weeks on Christmas Eve with the Hawaii Bowl. And then uh, the week after that, that, that next week, um, it's going to be the college football playoff. The matchups have been announced. But we hope to see you on Christmas Eve, the Hawaii Bowl in Honolulu. But until then, we thank you for watching. Navy defeating Army 7-0. They are the winners of America's game.